Hi, today I'm going to have a look at the Garmin Forerunner 610 and more specifically the setup pages and the run pages that I use when I'm running. And obviously I'll try and show you a bit of the tricks i found whilst I've been using the device and also feel free to tell me if I'm missing anything because that would be helpful for me as well. So I'll start off when you've unlocked your device by just sliding your finger across it to open it. You'll be greeted by your first screen and for me I've just got timer and distance and then to scroll screens you can either go backwards that way or automatically to go forward just tap the screen once and I find that's a lot easier if I'm on a run and I want to skip a few screens without having to look at my screen so the first one's timer and distance nice and big because these are obviously the main two that I want to look at when I'm on a run and trying to cheer myself on if I can see the distance counting up I'm always happy the next page because you have to because the watch is pretty new, I've been using the heart rate a lot and I'm kind of obsessed by that at the moment but I'm sure in time that'll wear down and I'll probably switch this to a 3 one but at the moment it's 2 so it's nice and big so I've just got a heart rate, an average heart rate and finally, well not finally, I've got pace which is in kilometres and the distance covered so if I'm running a bit of a tempo or something I can still keep track of that without having to flick around the screens to see what distance I've covered and stuff like that then next I've got calories burnt and I've also set a calorie alarm for when I reach a thousand which I'll show you how to do in a bit so when that goes off I know I've run really hard and I need to eat quite a lot more when I get back or possibly refuel during the run then I've got accuracy which is just for a bit of information before I set off I might scroll through and check it's under about 10 meters so I'm not going to have a proper jumpy track and finally it's just back to the watch again so then how did I set all these up and sometimes the downside is you've got to be really clear about which way you're swiping because sometimes it goes forwards and back so I just tend to go forwards and you've got to wait for it to load before you click again it doesn't register multiple touches and the same goes for the back button if I want to go back always, I always punch it there I don't hit on the side of the screen I always hit so I don't find the side of the screen works very well I always touch like there so we're moving on to setup how do I, how do I set up these training pages so I'll go there and then training pages and the first page I've got timer and distance. So how do you change this? So first you go into settings and you change your fields and you also have to enable the page. So I've just left it at 2 for this so I've selected 2. So I'll go back and then to change distance for example i go down here i go to distance and out of the distances I can have distance lap, distance last lap or just complete distance which I'm going to keep. So then scrolling through, so you can change one page at a time, you can't scroll through like it's your front page, you've got to go back to the menu to choose. So here I've got the heart rate, heart rate page 1 on and the custom, so I'm going to change the heart rate page to show you how it's done. So at the moment I've got 2, so I'm going to change that to 3, just like that, and then I'm going to go back. So at the moment it gives me heart rate, average heart rate, and average heart rate again. So obviously I don't want that, so at the moment I think I'd want the actual heart rate in the middle, so it's nice and clear. So then at the top, I possibly want, not distance, I, I think I'll go for timer, how far, how long I've been running for, and then at the bottom I'll leave average heart rate. So it gives me a bit more information at a glance without having to scroll through all that screens, and that's basically how you change through. So I'll go back, and then here's my custom pages. And I can also, you can also, if you want, don't want the clock page, if you're running it, just find it's annoying. You can take that out so you can scroll through quite a lot faster. So here's the custom, here's my final one, calories and accuracy. But say, for example, I didn't want accuracy, there's, I'll show you the little range of things you can choose. So I'll go into other, you can have elevation, GPS actually, grade. I found that didn't work the best. It had like minus one or two when I was going down a pretty steep slope. So I don't really recommend gradient. Heading would be pretty cool. Laps is pretty cool. Sunrise and sunset. I think this would be really useful if you're running at night and you want to know when it's going to get dark. So I would be tempted to use sunset when the nights start drawing in. I don't really see the use of time and day unless you've... D I would see the use if you've disabled the clock page. Other than that, I don't see why you need that. Then you can have your workouts, so just calories to go, distance to go, stuff like that. Or the repetition you run. And don't forget you can create custom workouts on Garmin Connect. And if you're interested, I might make a video on that in the future. So back to setup, so there's, your, so I've checked, there's how I've done my training pages, here's obviously how you set your alarms on or off, and I've not got mine on. Heart rate monitor, you turn it on, it's over mine's downstairs so it's not going to find it. Foot pods, if you want to record things like your cadence or something. Here's your system, language, ketones, so I have the ketones, the alerts, and the vibration on. 
data recording I use smart and one second I use one second if I want to if I'm doing a track workout and I want to change the uh, heart rate so I want to see my change rapidly and not just every few seconds where it decides it's to change GPS at the moment for this review I've had it turned off so if, if you want to just flick around the menus and not keep being bugged that your GPS is on or off you can just turn it off here and it also displays what satellites it's found and the backlight I usually have it on for about 8 seconds I don't really see the point in having it on longer but if you're running a lot at night and you want to know exactly what time it is when you're running then I would leave it on you can this is what I found really cool the stay on function I recommend using that if you're running a lot at night on busy streets and you don't want to be fumbling around here's various other ones restore your defaults and that's about it so that's how I set up my training pages which are just accessed by going back here and the handy tip is just to tap it to scroll, a lot, scroll along so you need no having to swipe it whilst you're running and that's about it really so if you've got any questions about this watch or if you've got any potential videos I want you want me to do on it then please let me know but other than that I wish you luck running and good luck in the future and thanks for watching